Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Dr. Science. Uh, I wanted to go back and take a look at one of the most interesting matches that we had at Tatsunoko versus Corona 5 last time. It was a match between Metaternal and Omega Zero, who are two of our uh, stronger competitors in the tournament, but when they played each other, they decided to do light and light, light hand mirrors. Um, so I got I got the deep lore on this from the two guys. Apparently, Metaternal suggested this beforehand. Uh, you know, if we play each other in bracket, we're going to play light hand. And he also said that Afterwards, he he thought that he could have done better in the matchup. Well, like going into it, he thought he would have done better than he did, uh, because spoilers: Omega Zero ends up taking it three zero over him. Um, so uh, let's go ahead and start taking a look at it. Like I know that it's not a matchup you see often. Obviously, it's uh, something I've played in the past just as like a joke, and even when I was commentating at the time, it's mostly just like you know making jokes about it and stuff. So I wanted to see if there was anything we could really take away from this. Uh, watching it right now uh and that's why we are here the the deep analysis <laughs> so i'm keeping the volume low just in case uh i don't want i don't want my voice like doubled up on the recording so so we have omega zero on the extra shiny light tan and then Matt eternal on the matte gold light tan So, like, right off the bat, Omega Zero starts off with, like, pretty, like, strong block strings here, going through, like, the, the whole kit. So, I guess, like, like, just going back here, Omega Zero, first of all, starts off with, like, a full block string, you know, through, like, the stand mid, crouch mid, stand heavy, launch, swing, whatever. Um, and then Mad Eternal kind of comes back with just, like, a jab, jab, jab block string. So, like, right off the bat... Uh, Omega Zero seems like he's putting on more pressure. A nice, yeah, a nice one too there. Like a Baroque extension off of the poke for extra pressure, and then the the finish into the chop, ready to convert into super. Like the the block strings seem a little more polished, I think, than on Meta Eternal's side. And Meta Eternal just kind of pressed a couple buttons there at, at bad times, you know, and uh, got got hit with a couple like block strings. I think like. In my mind, that's like, Lightan doesn't have a ton of mix-ups, right? So it's mostly just going to be block strings and sort of like, am I going to keep going with this block string? Am I going to block it and try and get more? Am I going to drop it and try and get more pressure? Like, what's going to go on? Yeah, right there, he finishes it into uh, into grab, but that's easily tacked. Matt Eternal already adapting, though, getting some of the longer block strings on himself. But that one, again, just like a few, few crouch jabs. And uh, let me break it again. And like, I just want to look real quick here. How how high up in the air Lightan goes when he breaks away? I think like they must adjust it by like where where the foot is, right? Because like that looks about how high like a normal character techs away there. But Lightan is just like way the fuck up off the screen there. That's really funny. Oh, nice punish. And Omega Zero doesn't drop that. He saw the, the stand mid or the or the back mid potentially from uh, from Mad Eternal there and was ready to punish it with the launcher when he didn't Baroque it or do it into anything. Got the full juggle combo, which Mad Eternal didn't have the couple times he hit the launcher before. Yeah, and he's keeping the pressure going. Good jab out from Mad Eternal there. That wasn't a real setup, you know, the jump heavy... When you do it at the full height like that, you definitely give up your advantage unless you go into super there. But uh, Omega Zero already taken the second game too. I think Meta Turtle made some good adjustments and like has some good sense for this matchup. But I think like it feels like Omega Zero is just sort of more polished here. You know, like it feels like he's got sort of a, a, a deeper command of the block strings that are going on. That was good. I mean, like, right here, like, at least that was, like, a different look from, from Mad Eternal. Like, the, the block string here, I don't feel like it was, like, super optimal or anything, but, like, you know, he brokes into the launcher, into the kick, which is at least, like, you know, shows he's trying to extend these block strings a little, a little further. Yeah, and like, like he's got bigger damage combos than, uh, than 
it's it's really tough to try and get like the launcher right like one of gold Lightan's like defining features over ptx is that he has the like the launch loops which give you like a lot more damage uh for for no meter but it's just yeah i don't know it's it's so hard to actually hit those yeah metaternal blocking out a little more now he's he's kind of gotten aware of those nice conversion though yeah that's that's the end of the game it, they go so fast too is the other thing but like th this i think kind of kind of hammers home the point at the end here like Matt Eternal, it felt like he was sort of picking it up and getting used to blocking out the block strings, right? He's got the good defense. And then, like, you know, Oz burst that out. And then goes for the late, the delayed sweep, the delayed swing, right? Not only does he go for the delayed swing, which is to catch, like, mashing on the, on the block string, but then he's ready to Baroque and combo out of it with this, which is really nice. It's very good. Yeah, I mean, all in all, I think Omega Zero just looks a little more polished on Light Hand. I mean, it might just be in the mirror match. It might be overall. I'm not sure. But, uh, you know, I, I, I guess I came away from this with a similar understanding of what I went into it, where it's like, there's not really a lot going on there. It's just kind of like the, you, you block string people and you try and catch them mashing and then you try and capitalize as best you can. Like, there's not really much there in terms of like, mix-ups obviously there's no movement there's like i don't know light tan scout like yeah but i mean that's about it uh so i hope you guys enjoyed at least taking a look back at that